We have already executed one algorithm from the command line interface. To do that, we have used the run alg command, and then we have passed the command all the parameters needed to execute an algorithm, in our case, the slope algorithm. However, if we go to the toolbox and we look for the slope algorithm and execute it, as you probably remember, we have to enter not just the parameters that we are going to use for the execution, but also the output region, the region that we want to analyze. When we executed this algorithm from the command line interface, we didn't provide any information about this output region. That's why our output slope layer had the same extent at the data elevation model as the data elevation model that we used as input. This is because by default, the option that Sextante uses is the fit to input layer option. We can change that and we can do that also from the command line. So if we want to execute an algorithm and we don't want the output to depend, the extent of the output to depend on the extent of the inputs, we can change that. And we're going to see how to do that. We open the command line interface and we have two commands to do that, two commands to change the output extent. The first one is outer extent. We can call outer extent and then the only parameter, it's a boolean parameter true or false. If we do this, out extent true, now the next algorithm that we execute is going to fit the output extent to the input layers. That is the default behavior. If we want to turn that off, then we would do out extent false. And I will use an extent that we define manually. And to define it manually, there are three different ways of doing that, all of them using the extend command. So we have the extend command, and then we have three different uh, versions of this command, depending on the parameters that we pass to the common. The first one is passing a raster layer. As you can see there in the background, I have one raster layer, which is the DM that we are going to use to calculate the slope. And then I have a smaller one here called convergence, which is a smaller raster layer with a convergence index. Let's say that I want to calculate the slope, but just on the extent defined by this convergence layer. What I should do is to type here the name of the layer. This is a raster layer, so it has enough information to adjust that I put extent because there's an extent and there's also a cell size. Those are the values that are needed to define an extent so I can define an extent based on that layer, convergence. And now I run the algorithm. I run this slope algorithm using the default values for the parameters. and my data elevation model and then the output goes to a temporary file and you see that it is the output slope layer which cover the same extent as the convergence mm, the convergence layer now we also have a vector layer called basins. So let's calculate now the slope, but with an output extent restricted to the extent of that layer. I will use the extend method as well, but in this case I will pass as the first parameter the name of the vector layer and I need a second parameter because there is no cell size in vector layers and I have to manually enter it. I will use 25 which is the cell size of the input layer that I'm going to use, the digital elevation model. So now I have a new extent and now I can run the algorithm again. There it is. You have a new layer, but this time it covers a larger area because it covers the same area as the basin layer. And the third method that we can use is to enter extend and then manually enter 
the values of the minimum x coordinate, the minimum y coordinate, maximum x coordinate, maximum y coordinate, and the cell size. So, for instance, let's go to let's use the describe method to describe the the convergence layer and let's try to do the same that we have done in the first in the first step but instead of using convergence layer we are going to do that manually so we describe this convergence layer there we have those values of x and y and now we can use the extend algorithm and just copy and paste those values minimum x and minimum y and now maximum x and maximum y. And finally the cell size. We have that extent. And now if I run the algorithm again, I'll get a new slope layer it's the third one as you see there which cover the area defined by the convergence layer but I haven't defined that using the convergence layer directly but just entering manually the coordinates of its extent